Hardness in water is caused by dissolved minerals such as calcium and magnesium. This procedure involves titrating a buffered water sample using EDTA solution to an endpoint determined with a color indicator. This video will demonstrate how to properly analyze the total hardness of a water sample using a digital titrator following Hawk method 8213. This is a basic overview. You should always refer to the methods and procedures specifically provided for your equipment. It is also important to review the safety data sheets for the reagents that are used and to use any personal protective equipment that is recommended. Collect your sample in clean glass or plastic bottles that have been acid rinsed. Analyze the sample as soon as possible for the best results. If the sample cannot be analyzed immediately, it can be preserved for later analysis. Refer to your method for more details. Select a sample volume and titration cartridge from the table provided in the method. You will need to know the approximate range of hardness in the sample you are testing or guess and repeat the test as necessary. The digit multiplier will be what you multiply your result off the titrator by to obtain the true concentration. Assemble the digital titrator following the instructions provided. To prime the delivery tube, hold the titrator tip up and eject the air and a few drops of the titrant out into a waste beaker. Reset the counter to zero and clean the tip. Use a graduated cylinder to measure the sample volume given in the table. If the sample volume given in the table is less than 100 milliliters, top the cylinder up to 100 milliliters with deionized water. Pour the sample into an Erlenmeyer flask and add a stir bar. Place on a stir plate and begin stirring the sample. Add 2 milliliters of Hardness 1 buffer solution to the sample. Next, add the contents of 1 Manver 2 Hardness Indicator Powder Pillow to the sample. Titrate the sample until the color changes from a red color to a pure blue color. As you titrate, you will know you are approaching the endpoint when you start to see flashes of color change for one or more seconds of duration. At this point, you'll want to titrate slower to make sure you do not overshoot the endpoint. If you are unsure of your endpoint, you can write down the value on the digital titrator counter and then keep titrating. If you've overshot the endpoint, you can revert back to your last number as your true endpoint. Record the value displayed on the digital titrator. Use the multiplier in the table to calculate the concentration of total hardness in milligrams per liter of calcium carbonate. If orthophosphate is present in a sample, it can cause a slow endpoint. To avoid this interference, extra time should be given during the titration to make sure you don't go past the endpoint. More videos and helpful resources related to drinking water are available on our Drinking Water Resource Library. Visit our website to learn more about our training courses and our pilot testing services.